will we plant the seed for the tournament and send a message to our next opponent? Bergen Riley gets it into play. First swing goes to Landfair. She goes off speed. Mayor Beeson gets the overpass and the first point going to Minnesota. She took all that heat there from the swing from Beeson, too. Becca Alec right up the middle, and that's what Nebraska wants to establish early in this match. It was a big problem in their first loss against the Badgers just last night. And the swing for Beeson, and it's kept up. No, it's not. Nebraska with the point. On the road against Iowa. And an ace for the Huskers will put them up by two here early. In aces, even just as a freshman, she goes off the tape. Awalea able to read it. And Taylor Landfair gets the contact on that big rip. She's showing out for the middles, <laughs> getting down like that. Finally, Baton Horse, but picked up by Murr. Rodriguez, the bump set to Beeson, the denial by Awalea and Taylor Landfair. That time, though, she gets a piece for the kill. At the exact right time, because the committee does look at your recent history, what you've been doing of late heading into the postseason. They've got defensive players that know their role, so they really feel like they're, they're in rhythm more now than they were at the beginning of the season. They're decent and dug by Landfair. There's Walker, she's got a heavy arm. And the points going to Minnesota off that whistle. Riley to Bain Horse, and she rips it. Beeson at the service line. That goes out. And then we're tied up. Riley behind her head. And that is the freshman, Andy Jackson, with the swing. And Chobor. the middle, Erica Davis, but kept up. Hey, but it will be a kill. But trying to discover this entire season, a middle running offense, but Erica Davis has really come into her own in Big Ten play. Kennedy Orr, the Twin Cities native, gets an overpass there and a point to Wisconsin as she's transitioned into that service specialist role. Or again for the Huskers. Misfires and another point to Nebraska for the Huskers. McKenna Wooker taking some heat off. Another swing for Murray. She's denied emphatically. Murray to settle things down. The net, Palabiak comes through. Placed over by Shaftmaster. She gets it done for a huge rally win. A lot of effort, final match of the regular season. And that lands for Harper Murray. Just a beautiful swing there. Bergen Riley back to serve. the middle quickly and Becca Alec in a flash <laughs> registers the kill. The position to get set. That was tremendous transition going from blocking to offense. Four kills combined for her and Jackson. They had just three combined against Wisconsin. Minnesota picking up a point with that whistle. But a whole lot has transpired for both of these teams since. Over the block, and she finishes. He has a right side block, and you want to set up the block so you're nose to nose in front of that hitter. Merrick Beeson tooling it off the block with everything she's got. In contention for Big Ten Player of the Year, her first year in this conference. That contact awkwardly almost absent from Minnesota. Landfair gets the angle.
Minnesota now within two, but they go back to Alec, the hot hand right now. Shaftmaster finds Grote on the slot. Baton horse. Riley looking to Beeson, she's rejected. And Baton Horse pushes it right into that block. I'm so impressed by this Nebraska play. Number one defense in the country trying to do that back to back years. Landfair with the swing once more. Bump set from Rodriguez flying in is Beeson and mistimed. The point goes to the Gophers. Taylor Landfair already surpassing last season's ace total a couple weeks ago. That time going off hands. Another point for Nebraska. They're up by four. Making a living off of going high off the blocker's hands. Rhodes takes a swing. how far over the net you get with your hands. Murr bump sets it to Wooker, and Peyton Horst able to get a hand on it. Placed over, but the pancake keeps it up. Shaftmaster outstanding effort. Up the middle, Minnesota run it all the way. And Walker pulling it off the block for another long rally win. Ready to play. You don't want to be the team that gets upset by an other, a team that's not ranked. So, you know, this just speaks to the grind of this Big Ten conference. There's not another conference like it in the nation. No, and it's the scouting, it's the prep. Um, you know, you don't have a weekend off where you can say, okay, you know what, we're we're gonna take a little bit of time off practice. We can we can just rest on our laurels. No, that doesn't happen in this conference, I'll tell you that. But again, the pass has got to be there. So Minnesota's passing game is looking pretty good. Jackson on the slide again gets an overpass. Harper Murray, she hammers it. <laughs> and everything but scoring this season, including Diggs. As McKenna Wooker is stopped. The setter, Bergen Riley, rejecting her. One-on-one -on -one against one of the most vicious swings in this conference. Great effort by Orr getting underneath that. Off speed shot. Walker oh taking some heat off, and no one else will get there. Point to Wisconsin. Kennedy Orr back at the service line. Good effort by Riley keeping that up. And the rejection by Minnesota's block once more. Erica Davis making her presence known. Shaftmaster setting to landfill. The joust at the net, and one by Bergen Riley. But she's not overly talkative, you know? She just kind of, she's a silent killer, is how Cook described her. She is a fighter out there for Nebraska. It's not normal stuff that you see on the replay there. Harper Murray, a big swing, just blasting it down the line. This is why you establish middle early in a set. Bergen Riley, a little too long on that serve. With Nebraska in Madison last night. Maybe Avalea tipping it over. Harper Murray can't get there. Murray on the bench right now for Minnesota. Harper Murray over the block and Polabi keeping it up, but it will be point to Nebraska. Targeted there by Murray. For the back row, it is McKenna Wooker, but right there is Rodriguez. And a point to Minnesota after that goes over the tip. Gophers and Shaft 
Masters. Baden Horst with a strong swing. That will give Nebraska a four point lead. You're struggling to move out of the way, but you can't overlap. You have to do it after the ball has been contacted by the server. Baden Horst, a strong swing unloading there. And it is seven points for the Huskers. And it's on the shoulders of Beeson hitting two balls. First one got dug, a great defensive effort again by the Gophers. By the server, you can't release early. If you do, at least you can't commit an overlapping rule. Some creativity to try and put their players in the best window possible. Yeah. Yeah, overlapping violation. So you want to make sure that you're not violating any overlapping rules. So you have to wait until the point of contact for the server, absolutely. Merrick Beeson starting things out for the Huskers. They hit nearly 300 in set one, helped Minnesota to 128. And those sound like Nebraska numbers, offensively and defensively. Taylor Lanfair going high hands. Red well by Phoebe Awalea. Shaftmaster again with the pancake. Off of Murray going off speed and Shaftmaster there once more. Landfair puts it away. Beeson off the set from Showboy with the kill. Yeah, you just see how physical Beeson is. She can just get up, and she just leaps over top of that blocker. Hits high, hard. Boy, what a tremendous talent she is. Seven kills, but the last three for Nebraska going back to set number one. And an ace for the Huskers. A strong start in set two. And they target her once more. to that Minnesota block. He's at 500 to start this match. And Groats able to terminate for the Gophers. Right now she's really getting after it on that right pin. Got a big boost for the Gophers out of the transfer portal from Cal as Banghorse will miss fire. Honored yesterday for senior night after their sweep of Illinois. Nice swing, slicing cross court by Beeson. Quick set. Doesn't go for Erica Davis. McKenna Looker there. A little bit too long, giving the point to the Huskers. They were able to take advantage of a fading gopher squad in set one to close it out, allowing 19 points. Groat snapping it down the line, but she also is off target. Go so far. Then chocolate chip, my favorite. Me too. Groat mm -hmm. with the swing, and right there is Murray to keep it in play. Kind of Wooker getting a piece. No, she does not. Point to the Huskers. Off the middle, Andy Jackson getting an overpass and taking care of it here. Piece of that easily. Piece of five kills here in the second set. And then an ace. The third of the match for Nebraska. really no answer for that swing. Service air by the Gophers. 
McKenna Wooker does have four airs tonight, but clearly wanting to put the ball in her hands. Oh, yeah, yeah. She, she Even though she has a few errors, you know, that, that young lady has a ton of talent. She'll work her way out of it. Here's Laney Chopo. They want to take advantage of her length with that kind of set as Beeson comes flying in for the kill. Up the middle, Alalea places it perfectly. On the back row again, it's Beeson taking some heat off. Pattern, a little shift again. Shaftmaster goes into the net. Yeah, Laney Choboy, she told Harper Murray, I got you, move up, I'll take this left back area of the court. So it's great when you've got these role players that have such confidence in their skill and they can help teammates out. That's what it's all about, right? That's formidable when you're staring down in the back row seeing Rodriguez and Choboy as your options. Harper Murray gets it done. Up the middle for Alec. Back the other way for Minnesota with Awalea. Merritt Beeson has been on an incredible roll here. Coming off their first loss of the season, and everyone wanted to see how they would respond, and the answer is sharply. But Minnesota keeping things close. They're within four after that timeout. Stepping in is Harper Murray. No stopping that. And Harper Murray just found that line Hitting 300 for this match as well. And getting Minnesota out of system. This horse is stuffed. Throat, and then dug by Rodriguez. Bumps that to Groat once more. Flying into the back row is Harper Murray delivering a blast. Groat gets another swing. And Nebraska gets another point. McKenna Wooker terminates. Exactly what Minnesota needed. He was gross going off the tape. Walker goes off speed. Rodriguez can't get there. Targeting Murray that time. Eric Beeson just drills it. <laughs> And that's a serious cross-court shot. Uh, you know, Beeson just tough to defend her. You can take one shot away, and she'll find another way to kill you. Every kill here in the second set from the arm of Murray or Beeson. Beeson with eight in this set alone. McKenna Wooker, and then dug by Beeson, taking all that heat. Beautiful from the back row by Murray, the range that she has. 
Nebraska making all kinds of adjustments on the fly to help get points. Melanie Shaftmaster. Make something happen there with the rip. Up the middle, Erica Davis gets the contact and the kick. Here's a slide, and Andy Jackson makes quick work. Big change, big difference. From the back row, Wooker winding and firing. Harper Murray, wow, was there a lot of heat on that swing. Shaftmaster going cross court to Lanfic. And a beautifully well set block, Alba Lea able to send it back. And Beeson trying to power it through. Dug by Rodriguez, and Beeson chases it down. Rooker through the block, finds the tiniest bit of space. <laughs> and build up what we need to get the most out of this Big Ten player of the year. And she's turned it around here in Big Ten play with magnificent numbers. Rory does the readjusts. Great job by Alec keeping it up. And then the swing by Beeson, and a huge celebration. Coming up, we'll stick around. Both Andre and I giving uh, our take on some postseason awards, some traditional, some knots. You'll not want to miss it. Walker has that tapped back. Dominance at the net by the Huskers. So go to the hospital. <laughs>
dialing up in a... So boy, back to back. Oh, she has fun out there, but she's a little scary out there too with her competitiveness, just how they like it. Taylor Landfair breaking up that three nothing scoring run with a beautiful switch. Getting nearly 400. Andy Jackson on the slide, Shaftmaster right there. And Landfair is unstoppable. Bull Jay Guchtikin. Yeah. Celebration for the Badgers. Morgan Riley tries to dump it in. From the back row, Beeson. Wow, she flies in for the kill. She's not been slowed down. Goes into the tape. And that's a point to the Huskers. And we play on. Maybe Awalea can't get that to drop. For the back row again, it is Beeson dug by Wooker. Beeson goes long. Pays up for the Gophers. Harper Murray. Murray can't get a handle of it. That's a big kill by the freshman. Groats. That's a heavy arm that she's got. And Minnesota ties it back up. The fact that she was able to also get that kill off of Rodriguez, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah Rodriguez usually has that cross court just clamped down, but that was uh, a lot of firepower behind that swing. Landfair with the service air. Riley looking to Baton Horse, and she whips that down the line. Over the block for the back row, flying in is Murr. And it's the Huskers continuing to do damage. They're up by three all of a sudden. But the Gophers say, we are not going to be relaxed that we hear our name on Selection Sunday. But they've been in that postseason mentality for a couple weeks now. Yeah, and there's certain things that you want to do when you know, you're getting into December the way you want to play. And I feel like this Gopher team shows really great moments of that high level of serve, serve, receive. That's where they're struggling right now. But there's certainly elements of their game that are going to keep them playing in December. So we just need to try to pull it together here. It's all about the serve, serve, receive. When they struggle on serve, receive, everything kind of, kind of falls apart for them. coming into the season. And remember the times that they slipped up too. They were without Melanie Shaftmaster for a couple matches in the middle part of this season too. Something else the committee will take into its evaluation. Shaftmaster now goes to Wooker. Yeah! Horse perfectly off the block. That was in Palo Alto, and uh, yeah, they, they were just clicking so well that day. Clicking well is the block for Nebraska on that last swing. Six to one run for the Huskers. Gross. Wow, does she unleash the heat on that swing? Wooker with the go-to arm here in set three. Beeson into the block. Can't power it 
through, and the Gophers win that point. Clamping down on Beeson. And they've been able to take quite a few of these longer rallies in their favor throughout this match. Beeson, well done. Sees a lot of hands, swings right through. She doesn't care about the last shot. She's always looking ahead. Beeson misfires there. That's the sixth service error. Riley sets the bane horse, and she has been unstoppable down the line tonight. Especially the way she's performed in the absence of Lindsay Krause, who's just starting to ramp things up in her return from an ankle injury last played on October 14th. Minnesota, meanwhile, ending a 21-match losing streak to Purdue. That's what makes this season fun, is having that conversation, that debate, and how many different options there you really could go. This conference is, is full of talented uh, athletes, and so it is so hard. There were so many times I wanted to do co-Big Ten player or co-defensive player. Those teams on those accolades. All right, I'll give you that. <laughs> With Andy Jackson. And she airs there, giving Minnesota another point. Elise McGee, a steady player at the service line. And how did she have the, the eyes on the side of her head? Bergen <laughs> Riley putting it down. Well, you know what? A good setter knows who's serving, knows what the defense looks like before the ball's ever in play. The beauty of volleyball is there's six rotations, so there's six mini game plans. And so she knows exactly who's serving. She knows where they're playing on defense. And, and she's very aware of that every rotation. Felt very Matt Pedraza-esque yeah. yeah. on that particular play. Landfair from passing to swinging. And Kalawana tapping it right down, lands right in front of her. I'll take that, she says. Chaffmaster yeah. also dependable at the service line for Minnesota. Bergen Riley tries to jump once more. Landfair on target there. Alone. Merrick Beeson unwinds. Plays with just so much confidence. Another time with that service air. Feel the energy from the tab in this must win set three. Goes to Merrick Beeson. Another swing for Walker, and that is too long. Rhodes powers it through the block. Baton Horse. Fire of Erica Davis. Walker's been the go to for that reason. Minnesota trying to force a set four. Walker. ready to battle with him here as he's uh, in this conference with the Gophers. Up the middle, Becca Alec. And a kill 
four whisk up for Nebraska. It looked like that effort was going to pay off for McKenna Wooker for a moment. Alex stopped by Awalea. Big dig by Murr, keeping it up. And then the Nebraska block responds. Alec and Beeson teaming up. Rhodes over the block. And there is Riley. Putting it right down is Alec. Timing it well, but the point to Minnesota with the violation. Kyle Walker stuffed. Off the overpass, Alec can't put it down. And that's a mental error there. I'm not quite sure what she was doing. A great opportunity for her to take that ball and just ram it down the Gophers' throats, but she punches it out of bounds. back to serve for this Minnesota team that in set three trailed 17 to 13. Close on the 12 to four run. And keeping up this strong level of play. But the block is responding for Nebraska. Another stuff of Walker. Too long is Rodriguez. He's coming back to bite them a little bit here in Minneapolis. Horst has been so strong going off the block tonight. Wolfram, that is a slice with power. Twelve for Wooker. That's another one for Baton Horst. Taking some heat off this time. Harper Murray, the next contact is Shaftmaster over the net and still up. Beeson with a couple of beautiful digs in the back row. There's another one by Chopin. Minnesota picks up another point to take the lead here in set four. Yeah. On the slide, it is Jackson, and she also misses long. Yeah, this is a time for John Cook yet yeah, to call a timeout and regroup. Joe Boyce stepping in front. And leading to a Murray kill. <laughs> Riley's going to reset and go to Beeson. Harper <laughs> Murray once more. Back to back kills for the freshman. Kennedy Orr getting the Gophers out of system. into the nets. Yeah. 
Booker. And a point to Nebraska. Booker lands it in the back row. Murr targeting Batenhorst. Then she goes on the attack. Batenhorst, another swing. And that time she terminates. Groats. Pushing it over. Landfield to the back row. Another swing that almost takes off someone's head. Baden Horse getting a lot of action, and that's because she is finishing. Landfair off the bump set. One more swing and absorbing that heat is Rodriguez. And the stop up the middle. Top 10 in the Big Ten and blocks her sets. And they can do it when she's off the floor as well. See how they react with this next play. Great effort by Wooker. Stepping in is Harper Murray, and she registers the kill. from the back row, dug by Merck. Groats, too strong. Yeah, Groat got under that ball, and it was behind her, so as she swung, just a miss hit. for Landfair. Landfair smiling after that set to grow. Landfair into the block and Becca Alec making her presence known. For Murray into that Minnesota block, and there is Murr. And then she's able to get it to land on a 4 0 scoring run. Landfair tools it, just what Minnesota needed and against the number one team in the country with just one blemish on their record. Excellent job by Abalea reading that. from a 
near disaster to a point for the Huskers. Looker over the block, and there is Riley. High set for Beeson. And kept alive by Minnesota. Beeson off the free ball, and there is Murph. for that swing. for the Huskers. Oh. Great read by Rodriguez, even better by Murray, and we play on. On the overpass, a chance for the Huskers. Murray, back throw blasts, is kept up. Number four for Nebraska. 